Fairfield opened its doors to a first-of-a-kind institution in Northern California. The Public Safety Academy provides a unique and innovative alternative to traditional learning. Well, the Public Safety Academy is a collaborative effort between the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District and Fairfield Police Department to try to develop a, a program for young people who are showing interest in being involved in community service and public safety. The Public Safety Academy, or PSA, currently teaches grades 5 through 8, with plans to expand a grade each year so the cadets can eventually graduate from this sole location. Being a school of choice, this rigorous curriculum isn't for everyone, and gaining admission is no easy task. Entrance requirements are that a cadet needs to be at or above grade level with good grades and good behavior. Once they've applied online, um, if, they can't, if they don't have access to the internet, we can do that for them. Once they've applied online, we call them for an interview. They're interviewed by a panel of people, and then they are offered enrollment. They have to complete a boot camp. They need to be willing to try is really the biggest, the biggest thing. It, this is a different program. It's not a program for everyone. It's a hard program for these kids, and they need to be willing to accept that. Collaboration was key in finding the right mix for this experimental academic program, which allows safety personnel to not only teach, but interact at a whole new level. Produced a one-of-a-kind collaborative effort that's not been done before. All of the agencies in the county, law enforcement agencies in the county, have participated, as well as fire departments. We've been able to establish a relationship with the school district and all of those public safety agencies to produce what we feel is going to be a one-of-a-kind model school for our future generations. It's also produced the chance for police officers to interact with the kids on a whole different level. Given the officers an opportunity to come out here, work with the kids firsthand, develop a relationship with those kids that will continue through the years and improve police relations within the community. Instruction which includes discipline, teamwork, and leadership at the academy proved very appetizing to staff especially those with a military background. When I was asked to participate in the Public Safety Academy, I was really excited because I am a United States Marine. To be able to share the drills and the discipline and the camaraderie that you get from being a part of a military organization was indescribable. So to be able to share that with the kids and teach them the same things that we learned, it was, it was a great experience. Boot camp for the kids was definitely an eye-opener for them. I don't think that they were expecting the things that they learned here and also I feel that they were unsure that they could even complete the tasks that we set forth for them. And by the end of the day, each of those kids, you could see the pride that they had from completing everything that we asked them to do. PSA staff are already pleased with the amount of enthusiasm and dedication as the students prepared to take on this inaugural school year. The favorite part for me has been watching 400 students come onto this campus and involve themselves in four days of boot camp to watch them interact with our drill instructors who included Fairfield firefighters as well as Fairfield police officers to learn some of the codes and conducts of behavior on a campus such as this. Our Honor Guard students are the original leaders of this campus as they have already learned some of the etiquettes involved in, in the academy life. With the academy designed to prepare graduates for all branches of public safety related fields, local agencies won't have to look far for new recruits. These folks in the public safety academy get a head start, similar to our fire explorers and our fire reserves. Only this program starts out as early as fifth grade. So to me, that's a huge push. And I've been talking about the program throughout the county to the other fire chiefs and they're really, really excited about it. I can't wait to bring them here to show them what the program is all about. Anything that we can do in the fire service to enhance uh, the youth's ability to become prepared to be a firefighter, I'm all for it. At a time of economic crisis, it's also shown parents, students, and the community that we're still willing to try new things, that we're still willing to go ahead and uh, think outside the box, if you will, to other ways that we can uh, evolve the education process. My outlook for the, for the current year for Public Safety Academy is we're currently at capacity. We do have a waiting list. We have people that are very excited to be a part of our, our program. The community is, a, is thrilled that our program is here. Everybody seems happy and I, I strongly uh, believe that we will continue on that trajectory. A bright horizon lies ahead as the students, staff, and community have quickly embraced this educational vision. 
known as the Public Safety Academy.